Bonjour, it's 613. Today is National Girls and Women in Sports Day. It's an annual day uh, every year to acknowledge the accomplishments of female athletes. Alex? Yes, we have such great female athletes here in Las Vegas. Bianca Holman, live with reaction from some of our local women in sports. Hi, Bianca. Hey, good morning, John. Good morning, Alex. So, yeah, normally here there would be lots of kids, boys and girls, playing a variety of sports, basketball, swimming, and, you know, even soccer. So, uh, but things are different. But oftentimes there would be more boys than girls. So this is the day that we are encouraging more girls to get active in sports girls and women in sports day and so again we were able to talk with some leaders in sports here in our community there's actually a report by a women's uh, sports foundation that shares their gender gaps in sports participation from the number of players to the compensation the organization also notes there are several benefits when girls do get active. They learn important life skills like leadership and teamwork. The group uh, actually found that 75% of working women feel that sports help them build confidence. We caught up with the UNLV track and field uh, director at the first Silver State cross country competition. Coach Yvonne Wade shares that she has definitely big hopes for the future of women in sports. I think there's more and more women getting into roles that they didn't think that they could do before. You know, we have an amazing athletic director at UNLV with Desiree Reed Francois, and she's the first of many to come, and she's a great leader and inspiration for our young girls. Um, I have a women's team that I try to make sure that they're uplifted and get to do the things they want to do, and so many want to be coaches afterwards. So, you know, we just kind of keep pushing them to reach for the stars. Most definitely. And so there's a virtual girls fest this year. It's hosted by Women in Sports Foundation. It's going to be streamed on their YouTube page. Lots of special guests. They've got Olympic gold medalists and other award winners like a Paralympic swimming medalist. And if you've got a girl athlete in the house, you definitely want to tune in and she's got to definitely tune into this. Also coming up in the next half hour, um, we're going to hear from one of our Las Vegas Aces players. And I will tell you, during high school, I, I played basketball and I was also involved in dance, but I was not good. But it definitely helped me build confidence and not be afraid to try new things. Reporting live, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now. Alice. I did basketball and dance too. And Bianca, you know how short I yes. am. My basketball career was very short lived, but yes, it's nice Were to Were you see. a point guard, Alex? I was. You had to be a point guard, right? I was. Yes. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I yeah. was a small forward. I was either the four or the five. <laughs> okay. I, well, see, I can see you doing well there. It's nice to see other women, though, doing it well <laughs> for long periods of time. Yeah. So thanks, Bianca. We'll see you at 630. Sherry.